Hi guys, I'm just gonna walk you through how I did uh, my camo. Um, these are the paints that I got. These are just regular outdoor paints. Uh, I was told that this is not the actual paint. The one you wanna buy is a camo paint, and especially for camouflaging uh, rifles, guns, and it's it's a different chemical that they have or something. Uh, apparently, they're also heat resistant. So if you wanna use just some sort of regular paint try to use the the ones they use for the grills that uh, heat resistant paint and also once you're done painting don't put it back together and shoot with it uh, wait uh, at least two more two days to it for it to actually cure um, I learned that the hard way but hey when it's your first time and there's not really much information that you can gather it's it tends to happen so Okay guys, let me walk you through this on how to do a uh, camo. Okay guys, as you can tell, I already done some lines across. And some lines that would cross those too. This is just so I can get a background. Once I have a background dr dry enough, then I'm going to start doing my pattern over it. And basically you're going to crisscross this however you want with uh, different colors. Um, ultimately what you want to do is like this for example as you can tell we have green and uh, desert tan and then we have black and uh, this will just give you a more detailed camouflage and it will actually it makes it look better it makes it look more stealth um, as you can tell the dark parts you can always have a lighter color and the lighter colors you can always have a darker um, I don't know stencil you can say um, yes and in a way it looks like a deer running or jumping yeah, I hadn't told that a couple of times already but I guess uh, we'll just wait for this to dry and then come back and do some some of that stenciling on it and see how it comes out okay I'm sorry another thing I forgot about the stencil is that it's gonna get messy the paint is gonna start coming through so if you can have like an old rag or something you can use to be cleaning the ex excess paint on off of the stencil that'll be great because if not you're gonna get dots and uh, stains all over your background and it's not gonna come out as you want it so well as you can see I already did some and it's looking pretty good so I'll go ahead and keep on doing this and I'll take pictures along the way okay guys uh, that's it that's the end product right there um, you can always if you think it it's kind of bright uh, on the contrast you can always just spray it with uh, I don't know some brown some tan or some green over it don't spray it directly on top of it just over spray it so you can actually get some mist on that and then get that to be uh, a little bit uh, I don't know greener or lighter color instead of being so out there because uh, as you can see there the brown and the black are sticking out a lot I like it to me it looks pretty damn cool but if you don't like this if you you know you think it's all oh, it's out there too much well you always have that choice. Okay guys? Well, thanks for watching.